Hi, my name is Nathan, and this is my channel for the love of knobs. And in this video, we're going to make some customizations to my KTM 790 Adventure R to make it more mine, to change the look and feel of the motorcycle. But some of that is going to involve some functional changes, how we mount the luggage, what type of luggage I'm running. Right now, the bike, it looks a little bit old man-ish. And I never loved the look of the 790. When people have asked me in the past if I like the way that my bike looks, I am always answer with, you know, I kind of like it, I kind of don't, I'm sort of neutral on it. I, I've never felt like I look, wanted to turn around after walking away from it and just go, yeah, look at that motorcycle, it is so cool. But it rides so well, and that's always been my answer to that question is, it rides so good and it, eh, it's kind of controversial looking. In this video, we're gonna make some changes. We're gonna make it look a little bit different, a little more rally style. We're also gonna change up the type of luggage that it's got on it. Right now, I'm running pannier bags, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you like panniers, totally cool. I like panniers too, but I want a little bit slimmer look. I want it to look more like a rally bike and less like an adventure bike. And while I'm not doing any rallies, that would be really cool if I was, uh, I just have some plans where I want the bike to look a little bit more slim, be as light as possible, and just look really, really cool. I mean, who doesn't want their motorcycle to look super awesome? We're going to start with graphics. And so we're going to actually be changing not only the graphics on the bike, but we're also going to be applying some new side panels, which are going to change the color of the bike. I'm personally not a big fan of white on any motorcycle, so we're going to be ditching all the white. The other thing is we're going to change out, we're going to remove some of the racks totally, and we're going to go to a rackless system. I'm going to go to a giant loop horseshoe style bag, which will allow me to get kind of the luggage in and closer to the motorcycle, and that'll slim up the back. We're also going to be removing the top luggage plate and the grab handles because, again, they add a lot of width to the back of the motorcycle, and there's nothing wrong with them, it just doesn't suit my particular style. And so in place of that, we're going to be installing this per run miniature rack. And this is going to allow me to strap that giant loop horseshoe bag directly to it. It's going to give me a great mounting and anchoring point for those kind of things. <clears throat> also, like I said, we're going to be changing the graphics. Upshift sent us this graphics kit, which I am super excited to open up and show you guys and start applying it to the motorcycle. And lastly, we're gonna get rid of the crash bars. And I know this is a little bit of a controversial one, right? I'm like, I'm a pretty decent rider. I would say intermediate, but I still tip over the bike once in a while. And I think if you're anything like me, you're trying to push your skills and limits, you might tip over the bike too. And so what is gonna protect the bottom of the motorcycle? I don't know yet. So that's what we get to find out in this video. Okay, we're in the shop and we're going to get started with removing everything that we don't need, including the panty rack, the top rack, the side grab panels, uh, the white plastics, the crash bars, probably the fastener foot pegs, and we'll see what else we get to tonight. Let's do it. It's a little dirty under there. Maybe we should clean that before we do the next step. It's just WD-40. Chris's favorite cleaner. She likes the way it smells. I'm gonna put the fasteners back where they go. That way I don't lose them. Oh, there it goes. There it is. I'm gonna take the other side off. It's exactly the same as this one. 1790 less a whole bunch of pounds in the back. It is already looking like 10 times better. I just love the look of the back of this bike without pannier racks on it. And uh, we have more stuff to remove. We move on to those. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, got all the bolts out. There she is, bye bye white. That side. I knew that spacer was gonna go flying. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Well I think I decided for the lower crash bar. We're gonna leave that on there for now. Um, 
you know, in hindsight, I should have gotten the black ones. I just not as big of a fan of these orange craft bars, but and they're a bit dented and scratched up, so they're probably doing something, which means I should probably leave them on there. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and leave them on there. The upper crash bars are going away because I just don't like the way they look and they don't really protect much in a way. So, so let's put this side panel on and see how pretty this new orange is gonna look on here. Yeah. Okay, like I said, we're gonna install this per run. Um, I don't know, it's the mini or slim, I can't recall. It's the small version of their rear tail rack. It fits perfectly on here. That's, um, you know, not to make it any bigger than it needs to be. I kinda like that narrow look on the tail. So we're gonna go ahead and install that, and we'll finish up for tonight. And I'll bring you guys back tomorrow. For you, it'll be one second later, but for me, it'll be a full 24 hours. Go to bed. Let's go to bed. Is it bedtime, Pippin? It's bedtime. <laughs> Pippin says it's sniffing time. It's sniffing time. All the garage sniffs. He's got something stuck on him. Okay, we're back. It's the next day, and we're installing graphics on the 790. This is the Upshift Black and Orange kit. There's several colors available for the 790, 890, as well as other motorcycles. I'm gonna link it in the description for Upshift's graphics kits below if you wanna get your own. So the first thing we need to do is prep the surfaces so that the graphics can adhere and you know the glue can dry and stick well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hit everything with Windex to kind of clean it off, and then we'll go back again with alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and just like get any remaining stuff that's on there. I don't have any wax and grease remover, but that's something else you could do if you want. And then we're gonna use the heat gun. We're gonna warm everything up so that the graphics are nice and pliable and the surface is nice and warm. It's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit in here and so it is kind of chilly. And the warmer those are, the easier to move around and manipulate. Also remember to spray both the surface that's going onto and the backside of the graphics with water. What that allows you to do is kind of slide it around, reposition it as you're going. And then using the heat gun afterward kind of helps dry all of that moisture out. And then I like to kind of push the air bubbles out with my hands, but some people prefer to use a squeegee. Um, it's really just whatever works for you. So let's get started. guys back in a bit when these bubbles are out. Okay, so you can see here on the fork guard some of the coating is starting to come off of the factory decal. Uh, that's not gonna work. Let's try and stick a decal over the top of that. It's just gonna peel away. So we need to deal with that and I think I'm gonna just try start peeling on that stuff. See what happens. I can't really get a corner on it. So yeah, we're just gonna peel it away and see what happens. Decals, unfortunately, going to cover up the knob sticker, so we're going to pull it off. We'll find another spot for a different sticker. You can order them. We have a uh, Red Bubble shop. Link's always in the description if you want to order some of these. They're uh, nice little vinyl stickers, waterproof. Show your channel for the support of the channel. I don't really make any money on them, but you know, it's kind of fun to have. And of course, if you see us at the uh, Giant Loop Ride or the Tour Tech Rally or something like that, we'll hand, gladly hand you out a sticker. Well, we have this whole other side of the bike to do. I'm not going to bore you with any of that because it's just like the other side of the bike that we just did. But I will bring you back when we're all done and we will wrap this whole thing up with a conclusion. And yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, that's the Upshift Graphics Kit installed on my 790. It was not easy, but it was not hard. It just, you know, a little bit of patience and some time and it's done. It's not perfect. There are a few bubbles here and there that I'm gonna work on later, but I'm just out of time to deal with that. 
And if you've never done it before and you're thinking about making a modification like this on your motorcycle to improve the look of it, I hope that this helps you at least get an idea of what it takes to do it. Like I said, I'm not a professional, so use this as only guidelines. And um, maybe look up some other videos as well and get some tips. Okay, it is time for luggage. We're going to put the Giant Loop Coyote bag on the bike and see how it fits. Uh, that's a rackless bag that goes over the passenger seat and then straps down to kind of this area of the motorcycle. We'll need to protect it from the hot exhaust, so we're going to put that exhaust shield on there. Uh, and then I'll take it for a ride as soon as it stops raining and give you my final thoughts and we'll wrap it up. So let's put the bag on. I'm going to just to install this bag on here without protecting it from the exhaust. <clears throat> you can see down here, it's going to lay somewhere in something like that kind of vicinity, right? And this is going to get hot enough to burn this thing. So, <clears throat> Giant Loop makes a product. It's called the Hot Springs Heat Shield. We need to go ahead and fit to somewhere in there, something like that. So let's do that next. Okay, so kind of got all this back in situated. I just kind of filled it with towels and bubble wrap and stuff for now. And uh, Giant Loop gives you these front straps here and the, really the intention is that you go to a passenger foot peg. I took those off because, well, I just don't ride with a passenger ever. So weight reduction. I'm just gonna go to this bar right here. There's no hard and fast rules as long as the strap reaches somewhere and on the frame of the bike and it pulls at the right angle, I think, um, just about anything is good to go. And uh, in this case, I think this is going to work just fine. I'm going to loop this strap in. Set her down. But yeah, that's kind of the goal here. I got lots of room to move around in here, and honestly, there's even a little bit of space in the back. If I wanted to uh, install my road dry bag back here, I'm going to strap it on. Still got you know, most of the rack left. These would you would take care of one way, but I'm just showing you guys. <clears throat> anyway, there she is. All ready to rock and roll. I think it looks pretty good. So I was curious about how much weight we took off the motorcycle and I'm sure you're curious too and we developed this highly scientific bathroom scale method of measuring all the crap that we took off the bike. Just as a reminder we took off the panty racks, the upper crash bars, the side panels, the passenger foot pegs and the top luggage grab bar plate thing and uh, I think you're going to be surprised how much weight we took off the bike so let's get this highly scientifically calibrated machine here going. Again not super accurate as you can tell it's kind of wobbly. But it says 23.2 pounds, and so that is a shocking number to be able to take off of a motorcycle. It's um, whatever percentage I put here on the screen, that's how much weight we took off. Also know that some of that weight is like mid to upper part of the motorcycle, and that will affect the bike's uh, how quickly it turns in and how heavy it feels when you're steering. So yeah, 23.2 pounds of weight taken off the motorcycle just by switching to different bags and removing some stuff we didn't need. So how awesome is that? Is it awesome, Chris? It's awesome. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video about sprucing up my KTM 790 Adventure R, giving it a new look, losing a few pounds so it's a little better off-road, and maybe it give you some inspiration to get out and do some mods to your bike to make it better. Also, in the next video, we're gonna be installing the Nomad ADV Rally Tower, so look forward to that. And I want to thank you for watching, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and in the comment below, let me know what your favorite mod to your motorcycle is. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.